Hello everyone, in this video we are going to explore concept of DNAT and create access from outside to DMZ using VIP object. VIP stands for Virtual IP. DNAT is using this object which maps external address to internal address with possibility of port forwarding, allowing external clients to connect to specific service or application. We are going to create a new VLAN named DMZ. This is typical name used for zone which supposed to be accessible from outside but in same time isolated from internal network. Our lab goal will be to emulate website which will be shared with the world. For this purpose I will use another Linux machine with Apache server running which is HTTP server. If you are interested how to start and run Apache server I will share link in description. Let's get started with configuration on Cisco switch. To DMZ I will dedicate VLAN 12. For testing purposes we can add interface VLAN 12 as well. Assign interface to VLAN 12 and with that a basic configuration on the switch is over. Actually while we are here this PC is without VLAN assignment as well so let's fix that real quick. And for this one it is going to be VLAN 10. Once our little switch configuration is finished, our journey will continue on FortiGate, so let's jump straight into it. Ok, first things first. Let's check configuration on port 1 and I am going to add description. This is our one port and the role is picked 1. Ok, rest of the configuration can stay as it is. Next we are going to create the DMZ interface. And create new interface. The name will be DMZ, type VLAN, interface, aggregate, VLAN ID will be 12, and the IP addressing will be 172.16.12.1. We are going to assign some administrative access. Yes, this is just about OK. I also want DHCP server on this interface and address range will be from 100 till 150. And I also want IP address reservation for our web server. So let's jump straight into it. And I'm going to borrow this, this MAC address. 
and let's create a new reservation. The description will be web server, MAC address and the IP address will be 172.16.12.51. So this MAC address will always become this IP address. OK, I think this is it. Let's click OK. And now let's uh, jump to our web server. And let's restart the adapter. And let's verify if he get the lease from the ACP server. Sure enough, we got the IP address which is reserved. Ok, our next step will be to create VIP object, which is part of the DNAT concept. DNAT stands for Destination NAT and this is going to help us to access our web server from outside via the port forwarding. So let's call it web server. The interface will be port 1, which is our one port. Our external IP address is 10.100.10.3 and we will be mapping it to our internal DMZ IP address 172.16.12.3. Fifty-one, and I will also do some port forwarding. Eighty, eighty, and it is going to be mapped to port eighty. Our next step will be to create policy, which will allow access from inside to outside for our DMZ zone, and also allow access from outside calling to HTTP services, which are running on Apache server. So let's do that. The name will be... First, let's configure DMZ out. And the incoming interface will be DMZ. Outgoing interface will be one, which is port one. Source. We have already pre-created DMZ addresses, so I'm going to pick this. And the destination will be all. And the service can be all. Not in this case is enabled. And this is okay for now. Now let's create a policy which will allow access to our web server. And I'm going to call it web server in. Incoming interface will be outside port one. Outgoing interface will be DMZ source will be all and the destination will be our VIP object which we created. In service field, because we only want access to our web services, I'm going to pick HTTP and HTTPS. And I'm going to disable NAT. And that's about it. Okay, at this point we are almost finished. The only thing 
which is left to do is to create mapping at the entry point of our network which in this case is this router this router is connected to the ISP and this router also know the way how to reach this network conf t and the entry will be IP NAT source static TCP IP address with port mapping created on fort gate valid for all incoming requests on gigabit interface to slash zero on port 80 it is tough one to remember so i will be placing it into description okay let's do some testing to prove the point i will try access web server from outside network using mobile phone Currently, the HCP assigned address on router 1 is 10.0.0.165. Well, look at that, I am connected from my phone to Virtual Lab web server. But honestly, it is enough when you open browser on your real PC and type in IP address. With that, I'm going to say bye to you and see you next time.